so welcome back to part 4 of the Deus Ex speedrun tutorial. I went back here and did the duping another time to get some more rockets. So uh, this playthrough got 7 which is average, but uh, in that way I can show you some additional strats that you can do if you have like 8 or more rockets. You can have anywhere from 4 to 10 randomly. But uh, if you get eight, eight or more, then you can do some additional strats in the upcoming split. So I have seven now, so uh, at least I can show the strats, and then we're good to go. So another thing I should mention about the duping is that you can get an alternative duping, which sometimes happens. So as you see right now, I have three upgrade canisters uh, but it can also happen that you have four and your inventory will be slightly different like you'll have an augmentation canister on slot one and four and you can throw one of these away and then pick up the lamp from that uh, another thing that you will have to do later then with that set uh, is that you that you throw away and pick up the gap gun at some point and also you cannot pick up stuff if you're in deadman walking so just save and reload and you'll be out of deadman walking and you can pick up stuff and dupe stuff and all that so with that being said you can just uh, leave the area and go to UNESCO headquarters so what we're gonna do here is uh, jump past these guys so that they won't talk with us um, Navarro was grinding gears over how you just aim for around here when you're jumping switch. and you can most of the time skip them don't worry about what saying about Hell's Kitchen. like you cannot have a conversation while JC is in mid-air so just use the scroll wheel to open this thing and just click on the doors like a right click because if you use the scroll wheel then it'll uh, stay stuck <laughs> so just use a normal click and then uh, jump into here and walk just up here so you trigger him son of a bitch. and you can walk away you say jump and save load like we did in the first part and go to the medical bot. So we're gonna get our like augmentation installed. Which you can do, you have to click on this one, then Alt and I. Then you can press your button for to go to the augmentation menu, which in my case is G. Then use Alt F7. Um, then do Alt U three times and Alt V to activate it. So now we have our sprint augmentation maximum. Then pick up this thing I and you want to block Anna so you if you're around ready. here you can just she will walk directly towards the door so if you block it with a plant she'll have to go around and then you should be fast enough to beat her to it. I am next. What you can also do when you first enter here is to throw some chocolate around. I refuse to babysit a grown man. That will um, block her even more. So then just talk to Manderly. Yes. And head out. Then just take the stairs out. And for the button here. Hope this one turns out. Also, I should mention that um, you can heal up here if you want, um, because what usually happens is that you'll have some damage on the head or the arms or the legs that you don't really want, because it will reduce your accuracy, and if it's the legs, then it will reduce your speed a little. If it's like um, more than, if it's lower than 66, let's say. 
So what uh, what you will usually do in a run is just heal up completely here in this area or in the map before. So you just heal up, dupe some medkits. Um, just to get rid of the yeah, the little damages that you would have picked up normally. And then another thing to keep an eye out for from now on, because we have an active augmentation running, is the uh, the energy. So we have you can keep uh, duping these bio cells with the scroll wheel. Just toss them and try to pick them up. Just aim a little bit downwards and should be able to um, pick them up while running. Even though it's a little bit harder uh, with the like augmentations. So if, if you're having trouble you can also just stop and do like this. Just aim them directly down and you can dupe them quite easily. Um, Let's go. And then we can leave the area. So if you if you dupe to 30 bio cells at the start, you shouldn't really have to dupe until uh, Hell's Kitchen return, which is like after Hong Kong. So now battery park, battery jump park. over here, uh, quit the gap gun. It should either be reloading here or it's already reloaded in this case. So make a save here, and then uh, we're gonna. Um, you gib through this uh, little uh, elevator or phone booth. So what you want to do is jump and then right after you jump use a gap uh, rocket to blow yourself up and then you can fall through this thing. You can only do this with things that uh, are able to move like this uh, little phone booth. So just jump and uh, make a pr um, save before just in case you don't get it. So so right now I aimed a bit too low, so now also the legs are destroyed, which is not really what you want. You can heal them up, like like this, you can heal them up, but it's a bit slow. So ideally what you want is not to aim too low, so what I usually do is, when I'm walking down here, I use like this aim, and I keep that, or thereabouts. Um, you can also aim in the background to see these lines. So you can aim for that one, for example. Then should be good to go. Just save and load to get your body back, and then should have full health. And also, um, after you've done the this uh, Phoenix glitch, you also have to activate again your leg augmentation, otherwise you will run slow. So next up, we're gonna aim to the left here and jump a couple of times. After the quakes, the homeless drifted down here. If you're too fast, you can bonk on this thing. So a DSS file a mile um, long on this place. you make your, sure you jump so early enough, then just as soon as this door opens, you can already shoot and uh, shoot open this. Then jump up here. I know I jump over there and over that thing. Equip the grenades and then make a save here. Now aim, you see this little like triangle thingy in the corner? So just aim where this line intersects with that triangle. Then as the grenade hits the ground um, and keep holding forward, just make a save. And then you can reload the save. And every time you reload the save you retry these grenade clips. So what happens is that you land on the grenade, and the grenades will rotate, but it ro will rotate in a random direction, and it will also then rotate the character with it. So. Um, after that, I'm gonna pick up this EMP, and you don't need the flamethrower, so just throw it away. Save through the lasers and jump up here. And use the gap gun to blow this open. Then save and jump. So you buffer the save. Um, during the save, you can already press jump, so it will buffer the input. Then you should be through quickly. Pick up this thing, and then use the candy bar to get yourself in that when walking, so they don't, so that people won't bother you. 
and these bots won't bother, bother you either. So jump and if you have enough Capcom ammo, you can jump here and go to the game options. What this will do is um, stack super jump one time so we can jump higher now. Uh, so only do this if you have enough Capcom ammo. Then you can aim around here to destroy both both of these doors that are coming up so that you can run through them faster. And then crouch jump here. And you can also destroy that door. Uh, let's see where I say it. Okay, that's not really what I wanted, so... Just to show again. So it's quite important to keep your momentum while going through these uh, lasers. The alarm will go off eventually, but if you're quick enough, you'll be through here before the alarm goes off. So the turrets won't bother you. Uh, pick up the MP and then Scanning. eat the candy. And then shoot over there. Crouch and jump. Open that door. And we can open this. Save and load so that you're able to pick up things. You can pick up the these if you want. They're not necessarily if you have if you had ten at the start after the first tube mm -hmm. in the generator. But you can pick up more if you want. Then use another candy just to get back in that Milwaukee. So we use the candy because if we would use medkits, then we would heal up too quickly and lose our negative HP. And what I did there is, um, because the alarm would go off from the camera, then the turret would become active. And if you save and load, you can uh, go past the door without the turret shooting you. Then we're gonna ride up the elevator and equip the EMPs on 7. So, and then jump and toss the rest. Like this is how you do grenades, you would uh, plant one and throw the rest away. Then pick up this first one and then the duping happens when you pick up the ones you tossed away. So that's how you dupe uh, grenades. Now we need to stack the super jump two times, so go to game options, settings, game options. And then just jump over here. This is the terminal at LaGuardia owned by Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. Aim a little bit to the left towards this thing. That he's working with terrorists. Your orders are to locate and then kill you can make a safe here. We're sending you a map of the area. And we need to just run up towards this area. This is where the map transition will take place. Open this and then you can also jump from here to I cut it a little bit shorter, but then you have to save load. That's right. Because you will otherwise take damage, and any damage you take you at the um, while we're having negative health, it will kill you. So um, I can show, like if you would normally do this, you would get this, which is not really what you want. You can save yourself if you um, just save and load, but it's not ideal what you want. So what you would do instead is just do a save load before you land. And jump past Paul and equip the law. And we're gonna look first around here. It's, first shot is not that precise. Just has to destroy this door. So you can aim, aim either here or here. So just aim and then immediately after the shot just walk out and go back in by holding backwards. Then the second shot you need to aim at this little area here, so that you destroy, uh, that you kill Lebedev with the lol shot. Another thing that I should mention is, um, during the loading, 
you can already aim a bit, uh, move your mouse a bit to the left so that you're closer to your aim here. So I can show it. So if I hold backwards and then move the mouse to the left, I will aim a bit to the left. It's a bit faster to aim. Um, and then just shoot it. And go up, out and back in. And then you should see Anna appear there. And once you see Anna, you can just leave. And the reason we go in and out of this map is that we don't lose the law, which would only have one shot. Let's open this. The first door is a bit faster, the second door is a bit slower, so you have to wait for it. And then jump and stack the super jump three times. And then you can jump quickly over here. Um, for this part, what I would just usually do is just at this little bump, you jump up and you would go down. That's not clearly what you want. Um, I can show you. So you would jump here and then you get quickly down to the ground like this. Then deactivate the jump and just jump and interact with the helicopter to leave. Then we go back to UNETCO headquarters, which is pretty simple. Just remember, remember to activate the lights again. He wants to see you. You can also use this door because it's a bit slow just to dupe some stuff if you need it. So jump up here and then uh, as you open the door just do a little jump and you will skip her conversation. And then um, the trigger for this conversation with Manderly, uh, I usually just walk up to this point. And then, as you walk out, you also have to jump here to skip Jenna's conversation, so just jump. So long, agent. We'll miss you, agent. And this, um, normally if you would talk to Jock, you'll have a little conversation, but you can skip it. You can do it either from far away or from close by. So from far away, I usually look for this little darker patch around here. So as you approach it, just jump and interact. You can also jump when you're really close to the helicopter. Just make sure that you're in the air and then it should be good. Just a quick little note here. Um, if you have 6 or less uh, Capcom ammo after the first tube, um, you can also get through here with the lamb. Uh, what you want to do is just open this and open this, which is obviously a little bit slower. Um, then as you're running here, throw the lamb in this direction through that hole. And that way it will open can wait a little bit here and then until it blows and then you can go through the door here and do everything else as normal. So just a quick little uh, update on that.